Bee and Puppy Cat is an animated web series created by Natasha Allegri for Cartoon Hangover and Verve in 2013. Originally part of the compilation series Two Cool Cartoons, the show emerged onto the internet when the medium of the online video felt more limitless compared to the landscape today, where the popularity of YouTube made it feel like any ideas could become the next big hit, regardless of genre, subject matter, or potential strangeness. And there have been few cartoons to this day that have been able to match the contemplative, surreal, and adult mindset that so many fell in love with all those years ago. And make no mistake, despite the pastel imagery and light-hearted humor that the series engages in, there is an emotional depth to this series that may better resonate with older audiences than it would the expected demographic seen amongst fans of Western animation. The show centers around B a young unemployed woman who comes across the strange creature Puppy Cat. With the help of her new companion, the two go on magical temp jobs in order to help pay rent and help figure out Bee's place in the world. What makes this show so distinct from other examples of animation in my mind is how it is able to defy genre in order to better reinforce its message. If we were to put the show into literary terms, Bee and Puppy Cat would be a shining example of new adult fiction, a genre of literature first defined in 2009 by St. Martin's Press as an extension of young adult fiction. On a thematic level, young adult fiction primarily deals with issues prevalent to people between the ages of 12 and 18, issues surrounding puberty, first romances, and personal identity. New adult fiction deals with issues surrounding people within the age bracket of 18 through 30. This is not to say that such stories within the genre can't be enjoyed by audiences of different ages. Rather, that the topics and issues introduced in such stories are much more relevant to the target audience. Issues like employment, establishing your independence, and coming to terms with your own identity within the greater context of the world are all things that many people entering the adult world have to come to terms with. While this genre was first dismissed by many critics as simply a marketing ploy to capitalize on the success of Harry Potter and Hunger Games, it distinguishes itself by presenting adult issues and ideas, while placing them within the more inviting context of children's media. Which is something that Bee and Puppycat does very well. It is able to discuss issues almost exclusive to adults, while not appearing very different from children's animation. If you were to look at this show without any context, you would not be incorrect to assume that this show was targeted to children, with the visual style seeming more reminiscent of a storybook rather than something for adults. Though Bee and Puppy Cat differentiates itself within its portrayals of the characters. Compared to other cartoon protagonists, Bee is a very unique character in terms of her development. Instead of figuring out who she is and learning how to grow up, as seen in shows like Steven Universe and Avatar, B has already developed into an adult and already has some understanding of who she is. Though where she struggles is within her interactions with others. She has a hard time expressing her feelings to those close to her. She's often afraid to handle her adult responsibilities, and a lot of the people around her have difficulty understanding her to the point where people doubt if she's enough of an adult to take care of herself. Deckard, don't you think it's weird that she hasn't grown up yet? She's just having a hard time finding a job that suits her. We aren't all born computer experts. But if she found out that you're avoiding your future because you're sitting around looking for excuses to mother her, I think she'd feel bad about that. Just as it seems that the adult world requires that everyone must become this restrictive idea of maturity, it especially applies to animation. Many cartoons marketed for adults feel this need to prove their maturity by making their shows as inappropriate for children as possible, by making their humor raunchier, more grotesque, and as edgy as possible. By the logic of some of these shows, cruelty and apathy are seen as true signs of intelligence and maturity. Though, as many have observed, Adding racist jokes and sex doesn't inherently mean your show is more mature. Quite often, it means the opposite. Shows like Rick and Morty and South Park make themselves out to be messengers of adulthood, 
using cold hard facts and logic to combat the naivete and stupidity of people who have the audacity to openly express their feelings. After all, facts don't care about your feelings. Though quite often, these shows will confuse cynicism with maturity, and in an attempt to appear mature, they will try to paint the world as vile a place as possible, where everyone except them is stupid, and nothing is going to change because that's just how the world is. Which is not just a frankly pathetic worldview, but it ironically makes these shows appear even more immature than the children's shows that they are trying to distance themselves from. But luckily, shows like Bojack Horseman, Bob's Burgers, King of the Hill, and Being Puppycat try to tackle these more adult subjects in a more hopeful and mature manner for their audiences. If I were to name an overarching theme of the show, I would say that it's responsibility. Much of the show focuses on each character trying to face some adult responsibility. B trying to find a job she's passionate for, Deckard struggling to pursue an education versus pursuing a relationship with B, Cass coming to terms with her job as a programmer, as she leaves behind her passion of wrestling, and even the young Cardamon being forced to take on adult responsibilities in the absence of his mother. Despite the bright and colorful exterior, Bee and Puppycat's world is very much like the world of new adults. It is a world where it is difficult to become employed, where the practical value of higher education has been put into question, where many have to abandon their passions to ensure a stable income, and the responsibilities of being an adult have been abruptly thrusted upon us. For anyone who might have difficulties taking on these responsibilities, they might be seen as immature or incapable of being responsible. Though something this show points out is that there are people like B who are able to achieve that same level of adult responsibility without abandoning the happiness that can be found in being young. With the help of Puppy Cat, B is able to make her living going on magical temp jobs, jobs that often take the appearance of juvenile tasks. More and more, we are finding people who are embracing their juvenile sides in order to find their own way in the adult world, to forge their own paths to becoming successful and happy, which is a pretty reassuring and mature message that can be imparted to your audience, especially for those who are entering the adult world and feel a lot like B. As my generation enters the adult world more and more, this idea of finding your own way in the world will become more important as time goes on. It is through this way of thinking that we are able to innovate, revolutionize, and change the world. B and Puppycat shows us that while the adult world is scary, we have the power to change it for the better. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.